is on Isekam in Lagos State Chapter of the All Progressive Congress, APC, over the 2023 election and plot to whittle down the influence of the national leader of the party, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Though the 2023 election is still far off, the state APC is said to be worried by recent developments, which showed some certain some chieftains were already declaring interest in the state governorship position. The chieftains are not only showing interest, but also said to be challenging the authority of Tinubu, who is the leader of the party in the state. The swelling rank of disgruntled members of the party, sources said, is causing unease in the dynasty as at a time the, op the opposition has vowed to checkmate the dominance of the APC leader in the state ahead of the 2023 election. Already, the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, has launched a campaign tagged Otoge Lagos to end Tinubu's reign in 2023. Though, APC insists the opposition cannot unseat it in the state. While the ruling party has the opposition to contend with, it is also battling with the opposition within. Just last month, a former commissioner of home affairs in the state, Dr. Abdul Hakim Abdul Latif, resigned from the party after launching a political movement to drive his 2023 ambition. Following the announcement, he was relieved of his appointment as an aide to the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Mudashiru Obasa. But he recounted 24 hours after a meeting with some leaders of the party, while sources say the issue raised by his earlier resignation was far from over. Less than two months after, another chieftain of the party, Mr. Olajide Adediro, came out last week to declare his intention for the 2023 election. He said he was damning the consequences coming out two years to the election, noting that Tinubu could not stop him. Adediro who is an ally of the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola said he was not oblivious that Tinubu might not give him the ticket, but his ambition is unstoppable. We understand this game. Do you think I will be stupid to believe that if our party remains the way it is today, Asiwaju Tinubu is going to give me the governorship ticket? He can give you everything but not the governorship ticket. When I say every other thing, I mean every other thing but not the governorship ticket. And that is why whoever emerges as governor of Lagos State will not be the people's governor, he said. Another chieftain of the party who spoke with Daily Trust on condition of anonymity said, it is true that a lot of people are presently aggrieved, but they are afraid to come out. But in days to come, you would see what I am talking about. The decision by the GSC to ban all political movements in, is one of the means to checkmate the aggrieved members. But this has not achieved that purpose. You would see a lot of aggrieved members coming out to dare the party in days to come. It is all about 2023. A lot of members are aggrieved with the system and the leadership because their expectations are not being met, but they are afraid to come out. They are torn between the devil and the deep blue sea, he said. But the spokesman of Lagos State APC, Sheye Oladejo, 
insisted that the party remained worn and that there was no crisis in it. He stated that there was nothing unusual with members of the party having ambition. Oladejo said, it remains within the right of the party members to be ambitious and aspire to any office of their choice. The presence of ambitious members in a political party engenders mass mobilization, spread to all nooks and crannies of the state and promotes all round activities. Our party has always encouraged members to contest and realize their ambition within the provisions of the constitution of the party. However, we will encourage members to continue to play by the rules and avoid causing needless crises. The increase in the number of members expressing different ambitions is indicative of our democratic growth and absolute confidence in our party. Let me assure you that there is no crisis within the ruling party as we remain determined to uphold internal democracy at all times. The APC publicist also dismissed the threat by Jando, saying he was merely seeking attention. Meanwhile, the spokesman of the PDP, Taufik Ghani, while speaking with Daily Trust said the party was aware of the acrimony in the APC, saying it would aid them to dislodge the ruling party. He said it was not only APC members that were dissatisfied with the leadership. Many Lagosians are unhappy with the system in the state. Ghani, however, warned that the acrimony within the APC should not stall governance in the states. As the 2023 general election is underway, the state APC has come under fire for its ambitions for Lagos State by the PDP in the states. Not only did they start greedily for power, they were also pointing out that Tinubu was not enough to stop them despite his position as the party leader in the state. However, the opposition PDP launched a campaign which it called Otoge Lagos to end Tinubu's rule in 2023, and the APC vowed not to let the PDP take it. Currently, the APC is battling the PDP and some of its opponents are members of the party. Be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Do you think the reign of um, Ahmed Bola Tinubu in the scheme of things in Lagos State is set to come to an end? Well, we keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold. This is how democracy ought to be, and this is what uh, it should probably look like if we really, really want to uh, tell the truth. Well, let's take a look at how things would unfold. Don't forget that Tinobu is a very smart guy who probably has uh, spread his tentacles around the party and around Lagos, even around the opposition. There are people who reference him and uh, hold, strong, hold him strong and dear to their hearts. Well, it is what it is, but it is a battle that can be won. Pulling, the, pulling someone down is not building a party. Tinubu did not pull anyone down before he built a strong opposition party. PDP should stop character assassination as a way of gaining cheap popularity. They should showcase their achievement in 16 years that surpasses that of Lagos. Tinubu is coming to be architect of modern Nigeria come 2023, says Ola Dele Benga. Could this be true? Ofonime Upong says this man has crippled Lagos and almost all western region of Nigeria. He has frustrated the nation enough. Let him go and rest. We don't need demons like him anymore. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Do you think this is a lost battle? Do you think it is dead on arrival? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. 
don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now